All right, friends. So I am headed to Dollar Tree and I was looking for something completely different. And then I realized in the sticker section, there are these stencils. Have you ever worked with them? I think I might have worked with one maybe a while back, but I just wanted to take several home and just kind of see if how they work to see if they are good stencils, if they're worth a buy. I work with stencils all the time and I figured, let me try them. So I brought some really cute designs home and I'm going to start with this home wood round. You can find these in the crafting section and they're a little bit smaller than a regular wood round, but they are really cute for home decor. So I'm just going to paint this one completely white to begin with. I'm going to let that fully dry and then I am going to bring in a stencil. This stencil is a three in one stencil. I love that because for smaller projects, it's hard to find sometimes something that is small. So these, you have three different options. I'm going to go with the R story and I'm going to use it twice on this one. I'm going to use it right here on top. I am going to use some masking tape to tape off the areas where I don't need. And I'm going to start stenciling it. And as you know, I'm going to use a stenciling brush. I'm going to remove the very much excess of the paint from the brush. And then I'm just going to start doing circular motion, taking my time, not pressing down hard and then stenciling it. I'm gonna wipe off the story portion of it. I'm gonna reuse the part that says hour, and I'm just gonna again place it and then tape off the story part. That way I'm not gonna be stressed about stenciling that portion. I'm gonna do a green color now, and I'm just gonna lightly stencil it once again, doing that circular motion, and this is gonna really ensure that there are no bleed through. And I gotta tell you, I'm pretty impressed. Now, when I removed the tape, it did pull off some of the uh, smaller, like the little separated sections because the stencil is actually really thin. It's not a very, very thick stencil like most stencils are. So keep that in mind. I'm going to paint the rest of the word at home using that same beautiful green tone. On a run from my given disaster Speed away from the holy mind I did bleed through a little bit while I was blending it, so I'm just going to clean it up a little bit with some white paint. I'm going to bring in these rub-on transfers from Essential Stencil. I had them left over from a previous project that I did for Easter. And I'm going to cut off a piece that looks really good in the size and shape for that upper portion of the wood round. The way these work, you just remove the back from it and you start scraping it. You scrape and you lift the plastic as you do it, and that way you'll ensure that it'll attach nicely. Now, looking back, I would have put this one a little lower, and you're going to see what I'm talking about here in a minute. So if you're going to recreate something like this, just make sure you add the florals a little bit lower. So then I'm going to add a flower and a little bit more of the floral design to the bottom. That way it's not so bare. I did the same thing with this cute little purple flower. Once I had them in place, it's time to add some 3D effect to the top. So I wanted to keep it like this at first, and then I thought, let me just add some greenery and some florals. And this is where I thought I would have just added the transfer a little lower. You could have seen that floral design so much nicer. But nonetheless, I'm going to show you the entire process. So I'm just going to hot glue the greenery and the flowers right to the top. I'm going to flip it over, and then I'm just going to add a random ribbon that I had left over in my stash. I'm going to hot glue it and tape it for a secure hold, and I think it looks gorgeous. As I mentioned, I think I would have added that rub-on transfer a little lower so you can see it more. Overall, really love the way this stencil turned out. Gorgeous. For the next Dollar Tree DIY craft, I'm going to start with this wood plank. You've seen me work with these before. These are the ones that are square. And I'm just going to sand it down just a little bit. It is rough to the touch when you first get them. So just sand it down. You can use a, a sanding block or just sanding paper if that's what you want. But if you are wanting to learn more about power tools, my friends, I do have a brand new online course, very affordable, and I have all the information down in the description box where you can learn to use power tools with your crafting. I'll show you what my top four power tools are and show you everything to do with them. Check it out. It is linked down below. All right. So once I sanded it down, I am going to wipe it down really well and I'm going to give it one coat of white chalk paint. This is by Waverly. You can do any color. Remember, I love white just because it's just my preferred go-to color, but you can use any color you want. Also, depending on what fabric you're going to be using, because we're going to use some fabric with this project. I'm going to start with this one. This is from Dollar Tree and I'm going to open it up. It has a cute little farmhouse truck with flowers. I'm going to iron it just a little bit to remove the uh, wrinkles, but I'm not looking for it to be completely flat because it's not needed. I had this leftover sunflower one from another project. I'm going to do the same thing. Just iron it just a bit. And then I'm going to cut them in pieces. They're about 
maybe two inches by 10 inches, give or take, doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm going to call all of them. My friends, I would love to connect with you on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. And I have those links down below in the description box. When you are done watching, make sure you go check them out. All right, now I'm going to take one of these six inch wire wreath rooms from Dollar Tree. They come two in a pack. I'm just going to need one. And I'm going to start just tying these. I'm going to make a pattern that I think it's going to work out because I don't have equal amount of fabric for each design. So I'm going to do two of the blue, two of the sunflower. I'm going to tie them loosely. They don't have to be extremely tight. You just make sure they are snug enough where they're not going to move. I lift about one quarter of the wire exposed and I'm going to use two remainder pieces from the sunflower and I'm going to wrap it around to cover it up. So it's just going to give me a nice covered area where I can place some greenery and flowers here in just a bit. I am going to trim just a little bit of the fabric. This is that way they're all about the same size. And then we're going to add some greenery. This is greenery I already had on hand. I do get these on Amazon, which by the way, my Amazon store is always linked down below in the description box. So make sure you check it out if you want to check out which are my favorite Amazon items. I'm going to start placing some greenery. These are from Amazon and I do have them on my Amazon store, which is always linked down below in the description box. So if you want to check out my favorite Amazon items, they are there linked below for you. I'm going to place some facing upward and some facing downward. And then here we go back to the plank. It's fully dry. I distressed the edges just a little bit, but it's completely optional. We're going to start using this stencil. Now this one seems even thinner. It almost felt like a, like a sticker. I don't know how to describe it, but nonetheless, we're going to give it a try again. I'm going to tape off some areas that I'm not going to need. And we're going to start stenciling. I'm going to use the Rust-Oleum blue chalk vein, and we're just going to start doing the circular motion very lightly, not pressing, pressing hard on the brush at all. And then the loved portion, I'm going to do with the Venetian yellow milk paint by Rust-Oleum. And then to reveal it, I got to say, I'm pretty impressed. Now the technique that I use with the circular motion, it does help with bleed through, but look at that. It looks pretty crisp considering it is a very inexpensive stencil. Now I'm going to take some pipe cleaners or only one pipe cleaner and I'm going to cut it into four equal pieces and I'm going to hot glue them to the back of the plank. I'm going to do one in each corner, making sure that I'm bending it in halfway. To add a little bit more security, I am going to add some masking tape, a little piece in each one just to hold it even tighter. This is going to help me attach this board onto the wreath form. So I'm just going to thread the pipe cleaners right through the wire in between the fabric and then tighten it in the back. And I'm going to do that in all four corners. This was perfect. I am going to add a sunflower because I thought it would be very appropriate right there to the center. And I just felt like something was missing. So I'm just going to add a couple extra greenery picks right to the bottom of the sunflower. And that's it. This one has such a summer vibe. I love this one. All the textures with the wood, the fabric, and the florals. I think it's gorgeous. Let me know what you think. For the next Dollar Tree DIY craft, we're going to start with this wooden plaque. You can find these in every shape at Dollar Tree. I am going to remove the sticker and I'm also going to sand it down just a little bit. They're actually very rough to the touch when you first get these. So just sand it down very lightly and then of course you want to wipe it off really well. This time I'm going to put a glove on because we are going to be staining it using the Rust-Oleum Chalked Glaze in the brown tone and a little piece of rag. I'm just going to start staining it and removing any excess as we go. All right, friends, so I would love for you to also join my email list where I email once a week with current uploads and any new news from my channel. And I have that link down in the description box. So make sure you check it out. All right, we're going to use that same green stencil from earlier. This time, instead of the R story, we're going to use the farm hour portion. Once the plaque was dry, I'm going to stencil it once again using the same technique. Very little paint, circular motion, and look how gorgeous that is. Oh my gosh. All right, we're going to take this greenery pick from Walmart, and we're going to take a couple of the picks from it. And we're going to staple it right to the top. We're going to create a little swag for it. And then we're just going to fill in with just a few extra picks, and then done some cute little flowers from another pick from Walmart. We're just going to hot glue them right there in the center. Now for this next part, do this before you add the florals. <laughs> I was hammering it. I was like, oh gosh, I hope it didn't. But it looks great. I think it turned out so gorgeous. The color combination is so dreamy. Very farmhouse look. But I'd love to know what you think of this one.
for the next Dollar Tree DIY craft, we're going to take this leftover Valentine's Day home word sign. I've had this since Valentine's Day and I never knew what to do with it. And here we are. I removed the jute string and sanded it down just a bit. And then to get in between the letters, I use a nail filer to file off those little pieces there. I'm going to paint everything white. We're going to do a very sloppy one coat. I wanted to keep a little bit of a distressed look, including the edges. I want to give this one a very beachy summer look. So once it was fully dry, I'm going to take this stencil. This is a large one. It has the entire alphabet and it has some nice summer beach style designs on the bottom. I want to take this beautiful Highland Blue by Rust-Oleum and I'm just going to start stenciling them all at once. So I'm just going to place the stencil and wherever the designs fall, I'm just going to stencil it. And then I'm going to move it to the right side and do the same thing. I got to say, I'm pretty impressed with these stencils. Now, the quality of the plastic is not the best, but I really like that it got a clean stencil, and I love that. I added a sand dollar as the O, and I just hot glued it in place. Very simple, very quick. What do you think about this one? I love it. This is it, my friends. I would love to know which one is your favorite. And I have another video for you to watch. Click on it. I'll see you later and have a blessed day. Bye.